Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're up here again, uh, where you last saw us, on the North Shore of Oahu, in my studio, up in Pupukea. And uh, today, we are graced with the presence of some very, very important people in the organization. Oh, and also we got Earl and Mary Jean. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Roy's birthday hat. <laughs> You like? We're improvising. <laughs> no, 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 no. We got our, our director of, of the Holly Eva location, Earl Schutte in the back. Hey, Earl. Hello. You should come around Hello. and say hi to Ian. <laughs> Mary Jean, uh, keeping everything together. And of course, the lovely Ann Wood, uh, producer, director, and sergeant at arms. Live in the studio. <laughs> Live in the studio. Okay. Live in the studio. All right, I know so, you've all been waiting to see me. Yes. Well, not all of us. Yeah, Most of us. This Most is of what Anne looks like <laughs> when she's not behind the camera. Her. I need makeup for the puffy eyes. You don't draw this attention to the puffy eyes. Come yeah. on, you don't do that. Anyway, this is the birthday edition. So Woo happy, it's a birthday. happy birthday! Roy is sixty-five. Hey, Play I thought happy we were going to do the age thing. What? Do you say it? No, no. Don't say we're, that. We're either. not. We're not. Let's just say, oh. though, that Medicare plays into everything. Now. Alexa, play Humana, brother. I just found out that's the way to go. Humana. No, the PPO version, so you can go mainland if you got it. Ah. Yeah, you don't want the, the HMO one because How that confines you here. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. I, I, I'm not there Alexa, yet. Alexa, volume six. It'll come faster it's than you think, it. Marine. A lot faster. Volume six. Yes. All the stuff was a lie. It was a lie, all of it. Now you gotta be, what else was a lie? Well, all of it, all of it was a lie. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Cheers! Why are we having coffee? Okay. <laughs> Wait, where's uh, oh, our song? Oh, she played the Beatles' Happy Birthday. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, Alexa played Beatles' Happy Birthday. Your birthday oh. by the Beatles. Here comes Michael. Wait. Oh, this is a good one. This is way better. <laughs> good morning. If anybody at 65 trying to recall their youth. <laughs> Before, beautiful hamstring. Oh. Okay, we're having a birthday party. Use this way. Oh, this one, should I post it next to Anne? Is, is it this one? Yeah. Oh, I know. Wait, can they, can they? It's all good. We'll see if they take us away, then they take it away. I love the attitude. Well, you know, uh, just do it and have fun until you, they say no. And that's how we're until going. Until comes. McGarrett. They said it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my birthday. <laughs> we are eventually going to pee, so don't go. Yeah, away. right. <laughs> if we could share the donuts, we would share it with you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. well, we should have. I should no, we wouldn't. They that, yeah, I was, I was going to correct that. Um, Shout out to we were Purvey gonna, Donuts. We were going to think about oh, sharing. Awesome, Purvey what? Donuts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what does that mean, really? It's a French word. What it does means it mean? unicorn butt sneeze. I don't know what it means. <laughs> it means delicious. It means the Sanchez. It means the oh. Suffern Haoli. you, you got to Google that before you start saying that. Purvey. You sure couldn't tell that we put pork bourbon into our house. <laughs> <laughs> who, who knew? The only person not drinking, cameraman. Oh. All right, well, let me go check out how our camera's doing. Well, let me, where's our? All right. Birthday edition on the roll. We got Art on the Easel and. Uh, and what is the plan for today's Our comedians in the um, Well, what I was thinking of doing is uh, brightening up the thing. Because, you know, the, we've got a nice full moon and everything, so it, it's got to be a little bit brighter. I was, I was thinking... Uh, the bottom of the thing? Oh, you know, you could turn the thing. No, I didn't know that. How does... Because mine has a button on top. Today we're going live in the studio, completely candid oh and God, interrupted. So, so really? beware for shenanigans and a lot of things that are not typical. It's old school. <laughs> it's got a dial. <laughs> Roy, I swear, because mine has buttons on it. Yeah, that's the same thing. <laughs> no, buttons you know, are not the same as a dial. No, no, no. It's the same thing as a dial. It's not the same as a voice command. 
Okay, okay. This is an old model, I think. Okay. Oh, old. <laughs> we're not allowed to say the O word today. <laughs> old. <laughs> Or ancient, I, oh, or Smithsonian-like. Oh, relic? Somebody say relic. <laughs> Starts with an R. Oh. <laughs> and there's your new license plate. Mesopotamic. Ooh. What? Oh my wow. God! I gotta look that one. Up. I woke up today early. <laughs> <laughs> Way too early. Word of the day. Way okay. too Alexa, early. Play. Nice music. Here's a station in my life. Chill with that tongue. Roy likes the nice music. <laughs> Nobody else it, likes nice music. Every, it makes him calm to paint. So, okay, I'm sorry. I missed the whole explanation. Are there birds going in? Well, to, not today. Not today. Not, not today. today. Not birds we're gonna, we're, If we set it up well today, then the birds can go in the next the next session. Okay. But it needs to be brighter. Okay. You know. So that was basically upon reflection from the last... Well, the thing... Yeah, correct. The... the um, how it really goes is that you have a, a plan, right, to begin with, right? And I, and I always recommend that. You gotta have some, uh, some idea of how the finished product is gonna look and that's how you're gonna base uh, your work uh, uh, off of that, right? And so, but every once in a while, um, as it's developing, um, things don't line up and match up with what you had in mind and so, um, and so you got to make the adjustment, right, to make it even more correct. Um, and what I, I noticed was, that, you know what, uh, even though it's got a nice uh, dramatic thing going on with the light and, and shadows and whatnot, it should be a little bit brighter. Um, so that's what we're going to do first. And that'll, that'll communicate the idea that you got a nice, big, bright, full moon. And um, we'll go from there. All right. Okay. Look at my outfit. Yeah, that's an old one. No, it's not. No, it's not today. So that's Can the plan. Mary Jane, can you turn that off? Roy time because he has a dial. <laughs> dial in, Roy. Once again, we have um, the director of our Holly Eva Gallery in the studio celebrating Roy's birthday, Earl. Earl. And we have Mary Jean in the studio. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. From the studio in the other studio. Always a Which pleasure. Which is our studio? This studio or my studio? What's the question? Answer the question. What was the question? What was the first studio? The Tabora studio or the Alapia studio? Well, um, I think it was not here. It was the Sunset Beach one. Okay. Oh. But that was your house studio. Oh, that was the studio. Oh, the sunset. Oh, there was a separate studio from where you lived. Yes, I was living in Mililani. You were in Mililani. Sunset Beach had a studio. Or... The studio, my studio was at Sunset Beach. Right. It was in Chinatown. You didn't know there that. There was a studio in Chinatown? Oh, yeah. Right, so Chinatown. Well, first it was my a room in a house I was renting above Queen's Hospital. That's but that's when you one. were a studio and a studio together. Studio and a production studio in one spot. It's always been like that until we separated with the. Right. When uh, did we separate? Uh, when it wasn't working anymore, so we had to separate. Now, where, <laughs> what location sparked the separation? Well, no, we couldn't contain it. We needed a bigger space. Right. So, yeah. what was the uh, first? It, Chinatown. Well, yeah, that was a big space. Big space, yeah. Chinatown studio. Bigger than my one room in uh, in my house that I was renting. Okay, then the second studio after Chinatown was after Chinatown would be here at Sunset. Sunset. Yeah. Third studio up here. Holly Eva behind the gallery. Yes, that's right. Fourth studio is here. Pearl City. What? No. No, no, Pearl City was after the Holly Eva one. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. After Holly Eva was then Pearl City. Correct. Okay. I thought you meant this studio. No, that's what I'm saying. This studio. We broke off. Right. Okay. Nonetheless, as uh, Glenn always said, nonetheless. <laughs> Hi, Glenn. It, you're ever watching us. It's hard to work that into the conversation without There's sounding like a snob. There's two studios. Nonetheless, Glenn had no problem doing it. Yeah. There's Roy's personal studio. And then there is the production studio. There's the production studio. I work at the production studio in Pearl City. Yes. Yes, you do. All right. 
Let's... Oh my god, these donuts. I know, yeah. <laughs> Do not worry. All right. I'm being Enough good. Stalling. I'm desperately trying to be good. I, I will I will have a few more, but <laughs> I'm good. we'll have a few more. That's why they're You're broken to be in good, fours. But not safely. <laughs> I might lick the plate. <laughs> All right, this teacher just doesn't okay. have it okay. for yourself. Okay. Right. Yeah, so I'm going to say, you might want to slide over. <laughs> she's going to wipe her face on your sleeve. That's what she's going to do. <laughs> Laura's going to see this and go, why is Mary Jane sitting like, you know. Because we're on camera, Laura. Yeah. We're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's good. All right, I'm moving off camera because enough with Mary Jane and her antics. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh-huh. We can't have this much fun. It's not even 9 a.m. Sure we can. That bottle of bourbon is only half empty. Oh, <sighs> yes, it is. It makes driving down the hill from your house fun. True. Well, there is two cyclists. That's, that's coming if you got your the struts house. working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. no. <laughs> you take it easy when you only got the one. That is one hill. Roy, how often do you have to get your brakes done? Why would I get my brakes done? It's my accelerator. That... Uh, we, but when you're going down the hill, you have oh, to brake the whole time. No, you, no don't. you don't. No? No. You downshift. Okay. You should be taking a ride today in your one of your cars. That, that's the uh, manual <laughs> transmission. That's a nice little changing. birthday. Yeah, Ten minutes. Been. Just go out for 30 minutes. Just drive down the hill and drive back up. Well, see, the thing is, is that had I not had the experience yesterday, which was I was mowing my yard, right? I saw your John Deere's out there. I know, and I think I may, may have left the thing on, on, so now I ran the battery down, right? I can't get it back into the garage. So you, I, I, I was stuck there? <laughs> for now, until I get a new battery. But what it was is I was like, I don't know, 10 minutes from finishing the yard, right? And so I was like, all right, here we go, right? And uh, so I ran over a hose bib. And broke it off. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like just when I'm done, I'm almost done. Um, so I'm going, really? This is like, you know. So I, I turned off the water, and then I finished the lawn, right? So at least I have something that I finished, right? Right. And then I called uh, my guy, who happens to be down by Foodland. Perfect. Oh, so he comes up. A good and, timing. Oh yeah, ninety-nine dollars later, I'm back on track. <laughs> There's, it's always something. It's and always something. It's like, and then I think too, maybe another thing as we get, um, ye the years go by, uh -huh. we learn to accept that when there's always something and not have such a big reaction. The operative phrase is, it's just your turn. That's all it is. It's just your turn. Everybody else has had a turn already, so it's back to you. And, uh, and then Raleigh reminded me that uh, yesterday when I was telling her I ran over the house bib. I mean, the ho hose bib. Oh, I, and, and then she... he goes, oh, it's just your turn, Dad. <laughs> well, you... I like that. I like that she used it all. Oh, yeah, she remembered no, that it. was really good. It's just your turn. Yeah. Yeah. No, just relax. Yeah. Meanwhile, unless it struts, right? It's like you should. I shouldn't even get a turn. It's a BMW, man. Um, Earl. Yes. When you were, did you go to Florida? Yes. Oh. Were you there for a baseball thing? No. Oh, uh, just a visit. It was a business family trip. Oh, okay. All right. So we're gonna make this guy here, this area, a little bit brighter. So it'll fit the, uh, the idea that there's a full moon. We uh, are, our rental home is, we have to go there and just set up and work and get ready for that. Are you flipping it to another renter? Rental? Yeah. We, People we bought it from rented it back from us for six months. Okay. And then our public management company listed it and rented it two days later. So they moved in next week. Gotcha. But so, well, we also needed to see her parents. First time since pre pandemic. Yeah, so this, and it has been a minute. I'm 
want a donut band. <laughs> <laughs> no donuts. I'm gonna just sit here and is, is walk. it on live in or you... everything is live. <laughs> yep. So live and in person. So one of the big questions I always get asked in the gallery when people come in is, uh -huh. where is this scene? Where, where do they find this? It's in your heart. In your heart. No, it, the, uh, what I try to do is I try to uh, evoke that feeling of, which is what I, I have, I live in paradise. Right, so I paint images that follow her? that uh, no, sentiment. Mm -hmm. okay. and, Michael and I use all of what it, uh, is around me. I, I used to um, actually paint what I actually saw, right? But after a while, um, I began to think that you know it's not so much you know what it is that's in front of me. It's, it's how I feel where I am, and I have this in front of me, and so. Um, uh, I shifted more towards concentrating on the feel rather than the look. And so I invite everybody because everybody's got a different uh, opinion of, of you know, where they're at and, and what their paradise is, but this is mine, right? And so if they, if we can share in that, then that's great. And if it evokes something else for them, then that's great as well. Um, much like, you know, if you think about songwriters that will write about their personal experience, but some of them you can relate to for whatever reason, that's yours, personal. But the fact that you can relate to them, that's awesome, right? Um, so, yeah, I, uh, I didn't want to be confined by the, the, the look of an actual, unless it's like diamond head, but even then I take out all the buildings. Right, right, yeah. Yes. Right, so that, that, is, that, is what I, that is why I do what I do, the way it's done, is um, to invite people to relate to it on their own. I get asked that question all the time as well. Because most everybody will, will paint actual scene. Yeah. And like right. I said, there's yeah. nothing wrong with that at all. And I used to do that all the time as well. So that's why I know it's like, hey, that's perfectly fine. But uh, I, I wanted uh, to be more authentic with how I really felt about stuff. So the, the shift was inevitable. We're just at the right spot to block every camera angle possible. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's well, with, just, with, with practice, I knew you like can do it. It's like your head and hand are in the same spot, so I, um, I'm having difficulty doing it. That's okay. okay. It's just your turn. <laughs> I'm trying to, to get a good angle. And that's what she said. <laughs> And what is the new painting that was inspired by the Nepali coast of Kauai with the light from above? Yep. Okay, thanks. I just need to respond with some of you guys. Got all my helpers today. Everyone can <laughs> get something done. Will we have stars in this one at some point? Oh, we, have, we have some already. Oh, are they? I'm sorry. You got to get up there and look at them. I, my eyes are back here. Oh, yes, I see. Yeah, but uh, again, right, the, the, the balancing act is that we could always add some more, but 
the uh, it might take away a little bit more than I need to from the effect of the full moon, which of course you won't see that many stars right. when, the, when the moon right. is nice and full and, and glaring everything out. But I wanted to sneak some in there anyway. Not uh, and my uh, my <laughs> excuse is like okay. Um, technically, because of science, we know that, but we are in art, not in science. Sure. So. Although the little Starship Enterprise passing over the front of the moon would be, you know. No? Okay. Well, no, I didn't say no. <laughs> if, if you have a lead, if you have a lead, we can, uh, we can figure out a way to justify that. Obviously, if somebody wishes to purchase this and there wants it a Starship is. Enterprise, you will be happy to pay the Starship Well, Enterprise. I don't know about happy, but well, I'll well, do it. you'll do it. <laughs> So you're brightening it up? Is that what you said you were doing today? Yeah, 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 yeah. They, um, I just, I was just thinking that, you know, the, the full moon effect is not um, being appreciated as much as it could be because it's still dark, yeah? So the idea is to brighten it up without losing the feel of the, of the night. And what, what color you got going on on your palette? Uh, that's, um... I started out with the usual indigo and and, um, and white, yeah, you know, to get a gray, and then um, because I know that you know the color I'm going to use has to be grayed down anyway, so I prepared a gray and then mixed the color into that, um, and which is uh, phthalo green. And then it's just um, the uh, the distribution, the amount of green and white and all of that, that will make a difference. If, it, if it's um, too gray, then um, the brightness of it is not gonna be communicated as well. Uh, so we, we don't want that. As uh, usual, um, if you guys got any questions, don't hesitate. This is the perfect time to ask them. If they don't have to be related to the painting I'm doing. Any, any question is fine, but um, uh, take advantage of it. And the answer is? Well, I say 100% final answer, yes. It's inspired by. That's, I meant to add that word. 
Inspired by the Nepali coast of Kauai. Yes. Yes. In, in uh, that that area inspires a lot of my artwork. And then, what part is inspired with the um, with the light from above? Is that that's Nepali coast as well, but that's Kalalau that section. The oh, Kalalau, Kalalau section. Be, yeah, valley also, and beach. Right, and is that section also known as the cathedrals? Well, yeah, in the back. In the back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, that helps me give my answer to that. <laughs> and tell them about another piece as well. Uh -huh. So that way they get their they get their answer and a little bit extra. <laughs> they answered that question they didn't know was what they wanted to ask. So Earl Laura's um, uh, family visits got squared away, pretty much. I'm sorry, her what? Her family visits thing. Yeah, you guys want it pretty much handled. Yeah, just got to do it. it. Didn't work. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's a big. That's a big deal. Life is a work in progress. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're 55 or, or 65. 65. <laughs> You can see why we need guests in the studio. Uh, <laughs> Holy moly! I did not look, but someone has been awfully busy over there on the drying rack. So, oh yeah, you didn't look. Come on. I've been, oh, that's not my live camera anyway. But we actually have a bunch of five by sevens. Tom Seabass will be really happy. But He's yes, happy. Girl. I'm happy. I'm snapping photographs and sending them off to Teresa. Uh, yeah. This is turning The Cinco's are here right now. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, they think the 22nd. Of your art. A lot of people in town, Zig and Bushes were here. They yeah. still are. I need him. Where is he? I told him. <laughs> I should have told him. Birthday show, get up here. I know, right? Jeez. Yep. Get a professional. Well, I think you need to get paid to do that. Whatever. So, yeah, I'll, a professional. I'll trade him a painting. A donut. Whatever. Start low. <laughs> Hear that, Ted? Roy's only willing to give you a donut. Hey, but it's from Purve. That's Purvey right. Purve donuts are worth Work really worth it. <laughs> yes, and yes, right. it's spelled P U R V. Apostrophe E. e. Apostrophe but the e, e is silent. The perv is not silent. Purvey. The purve is silent. <laughs> the perv is in hiding. That's. I, I gotta plug them. I'm telling you, on Mother's Day we had ordered donuts and they they forgot one donut. And that was the one I wanted. <laughs> so, it was her turn. It's all good. <laughs> That's right. So we called and um, and mentioned it to them. And this they said, oh, story. you know, next time you're in, just tell us. So I ordered the donuts for Roy and we came to pick them up. And I didn't say anything about it. And then next thing you know, after I came back in from the car, the guy goes, oh, are you Ann Wood? And I said, yeah, they helped me already. He goes, no, don't we owe you two donuts? And I said, uh -huh. oh, well, actually, you only owe me one. And he goes, we will give you both. And then he looked at the order pad that Mary Jean had filled out, and he said, didn't I hear you say you wanted the Sanchez? <laughs> and I said, it's my favorite like, one. Oh, how do I answer this? <laughs> and she said, it's my favorite one. And oh. he threw it in. And oh. he threw that one three in, too. Donuts. So we well, had three donuts. <laughs> They, they're awesome. Their customer service is awesome. It's very good. If customer you ever service. come to Hawaii, that is a must-do trip. It's right in Kahalo or it's by Ala Moana Mall. And I, I think they have a new location, um, maybe Kapiolani area. 
Really? They are praying um, that they don't open one in Kahai Kahai. Kahi. <laughs> yeah. We cannot have that in our neighborhood. Is it not in all? No, it's, it's in Kahala. It's oh, a nice, yeah. it's a good um, uh, six mile drive or three hour walk. <laughs> <laughs> or a 20 minute drive for six miles. Already. I, I know what it takes to walk to Kahala, and it's about three hours. <clears throat> or no. Maybe, no way. No. I think it's, I, I think I could do an hour and a half, sorry. Hour and a half walk to Kahala, three hours round trip. I just got confused. Well, that, if that's the case, that would be perfect because that way you walk the donuts off. Exactly. Time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Walk to get the donut, have the moment, walk home. And then it's like, then it is. What did you call it, Roy? A negative calorie donut? Matter of fact. And that, uh, yeah, it'll be a negative, uh, yeah. I worked for it and worked it off. Enjoyed it. Yeah, okay. And now I'm getting rid I of it. I might do that next week. <laughs> the unicorn butt snooze. Yeah, I don't get that. What's that one? Is that the one with the cereal on it? Um, unicorn butt sneeze has unicorn fruity pebbles. And okay, lemon that's blades. the one I will say that I liked the least. Really? I don't like fruity cereal. It just wasn't, I shouldn't have even tried it. I knew it wasn't going to be good for me. That, um, the one with the leaping moy, oh, that one was good. The sunburn. Sunburnt Howley. I love the title. <laughs> <laughs> Oompa Loompa, Moist Dream Sickle. Oh, that's what that one is. Oh, Oompa 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 Oompa. Moist. Let's try not to say that. What's that? <laughs> Let's not use that uh, word. <laughs> Let's Oompa just say Oompa. it's edit, a edit, edit. creamsicle with cream cheese, right? That's the Oompa Loompa? No. No, the Oompa Loompa is the orange glaze, blanket, oh, blanketed by cream cheese. Oh. Yes. I, I know them by heart after I've read them three times today. Well, it's yep. like I kept seeing people going to them, and I just never jumped on the bandwagon. Oh, I'm on it now. <laughs> you bought the bandwagon. I, I, I'm going <laughs> to buy a bandwagon of my own and he drank the open a franchise in Kauai Kai. Yeah. <laughs> And, and give up your furniture flipping? No, I'm in a furniture flip, work at the studio. I can have three jobs. Maybe yeah. I'll start dog sitting and do another job too. Like to keep, I like to keep busy. Sure. Look, you have your you have your lawn service job and your artwork <laughs> job. <laughs> the lawn service is part of my DNA, all right? I, if well, I could have found a no, job as a fry cook. If it was part of your DNA, you'd be out there cutting it with a weed whacker. <laughs> no, it would be the old-fashioned way. Scissors? Beautiful okay. scissors. And, I'm paid by the hour. I'm sitting like this. Like That's you, right. You have to be able to have a good squat. I can't squat. I tell you what. Do you that, have a good squat? Well. No. I think it's good. Ruiz has a good squat. Wow. Well. He can squat for hours. It's like he can just sit there. Oh, the Kahala store. Like that. Just how, like a how old are <laughs> you? Okay. Yeah. Um, it, like May. Uh, in Mid-April to May. A big section of the globe functioned. We didn't, they didn't have chairs. They're out in the fields working, right? They're not going to sit on the dirt. Oh, I when I paint my furniture, I sit it's totally on the ground. I have uh -huh. beach towels all around me. Because your body's not yeah, used to the squat. I can't squat. I have to sit on my big ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, you can't use that word. <laughs> what, me? Sensor, 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 sensor. Sheesh. Okay, I have to, I, I can't, I can't squat very well. Because you don't practice. No, I, I do not practice as bad as yeah, you, you think of all those guys in the rice patties that are doing, and then they got, you know what, I need to rest. Did somebody bring a chair? Everybody just look at it. I was like, we don't need no stinking chair. There's no chairs. We can squat. All right, we'll have a little stool. <laughs> See? This is good. See, if you it's good stool, if you, you have sit to over here. Because I can get all you guys talking when you're over here. Yeah, it was, you need something that you can... You know, do that you don't have to lug anything around. Instead of hiding. Now you're hiding. Don't drink any of that. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Oh, I really like those colors. Oh, here's a random off the wall question. Okay. Aren't they all though? In the art, do you ever put little hidden things in your art life? Well, I just did one recently. And uh, Kevin uh, Garrison uh, pointed it out. He was the only guy that pointed it out. And I was doing a rainbow. When I was doing the rainbow, part of the rainbow 
was up against the mountain, the farthest mountain, right? So I filled that in. But I filled it in in the reverse order of the rainbow, right? So instead of the red at the top of the arc, right. I put it on the inside, and the indigo was uh, just reverse the band, right? And I was wondering if anybody will notice. Because then when I filled in the rest of the rainbow, I have to correct it, right? right? Right, And so I did, but I didn't say a word about anything at all. And just like, just kept on working and see if anybody will notice. Uh, and they would if they were just really focusing on everything really, really, really closely. Okay. And evidently he was. Or somebody was with him and pointed it out, but he didn't say that. But it was funny because I'm just going, okay, nobody's mentioned that the, the band order is reversed up against the mountain. And then, of course, like I said, when I put in the rest of the rainbow, I had to fix that. And, and, then, and then he came up with, hey, didn't you have that thing reversed earlier? I said, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, so I, I'll, I'll do that, um, you know, stuff like that, just to have fun. Like so, that. Earl, how long have you been working with Tabora Gallery? Including today. Six years. Oh. June I don't remember. June 15, uh, 2015. Really? Yes. So I've now been six years with the gallery, and I've been five years, uh, just under five years as the director of Holly. I remember Is it been five years already. Damn, that was fast. I remember when I met you. It was when we had the gallery at the Princess Kayamani. Yeah. The little one, the little temporary yeah. spot. And I remember being in there, and I think you had bought something. Maybe Which it was, generally happened did, after having a couple of my time. Right. But I feel like, <laughs> did we sell George Gucci in that location? Yes, you did. I bought okay. two Gucci. Okay. That's what it was. Okay. I totally remember you bought these Gucci paintings. But you were saying that you were going to be moving here and going to work for us. You said that. You were like, I'm going to move to Hawaii and I'm going to work there. He's already no. living here, I think. No, yes. no, no. no, no they moved away. Uh -huh. They moved that was, away. That was, that was March of 2015. And then came back. March of 2015. Time Anne, Anne had walked up to me when we walked in the store. Anne walked up to me and said, when can you start working? And I was like, I didn't know I was... <laughs> I need to work for you, and I have an interview, and I don't know anything about art. She goes, doesn't matter. That was the same line she gave me in the parking lot at the Cocoa Head School. Hey, you should come work for me. I dropped you off at the gallery, and by the time I parked and got back, you were getting sold up. That was my second time. time. <laughs> that was the first time she's like, you should come work for me. I'm like, doing what? And she goes, selling art. And I go, I don't know anything about that. She goes, oh, I can teach you that part. Don't worry. And now <laughs> you're stuck with me. Yes, me and Anne are stuck at the hip. But then, no, then I did I did work for the company for about three months, and then I thought, no, this is not a good fit for me, and I left. But then I came back one year later, and that was the time she parked the car, and by the time she came back, I had sold two Barton. Steve Bartons, or one Steve Barton original. And then I decided to Facebook my sales. Remember, Roy? Yes. I did every single post, every sale. I think I did it up to 500 pieces. Something like that. Yeah. I see them in my memories now. It's like really funny. Because like they come up, like I don't always look at the Facebook memories, but I'll yeah, see yeah. them and then I'll be like, wow. You're so still that, in that, the that, same that, color, that, right? That, 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 yeah, I'm just lightening it up, adding more white it, to it, it okay. and, uh, where I need to. I have so much excitement in the studio. I don't necessarily have your palette um, on. Oh, you don't? No, oh, okay. well, I, I changed it a couple of times. Okay. But I think um, I need. Oh. I should get Mary Jan Jean's camera. She. Oh, but I gotta finish. I'm doing a couple things at once. I love chocolate, but that lemon one is to die. I know lemon is my favorite flavor of anything of all times. Brenda, 
her son too, why don't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'll give you her cell number if you Seventeen want to. Yeah. Are you serious? Is that right? Oh yeah. I haven't seen her since pre pandemic. What? Brenda, Brenda yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. Our company. You look great. Oh, thank you. Did you drop weight? No. <laughs> Maybe a little. Geez, really? From where? I know. That was, that's my second question. How did you do that? She's the tiny one of our family. She is a tiny, tiny Very, person. very tiny. Okay, give we, her the, give we her the, saved you some donuts. Not on oh, purpose, but yeah, we just okay. got full. Give, give, give her the donut tour. Happy yeah, the donut birthday. tour is good. Happy birthday. Thank you. Brenda, I can show you what they used to look like. Wait, come here, I'll show you. Oh I my work God. with Brenda every day, but I haven't here. seen her in like five months. <laughs> Grab other people's phones and hook them up and there add them in. There you go. Yes, it's period. It's a fun day in the studio, so we got to have lots fun. Of, lots of cameras going. It's got to be fun if it's fun day. It is. Always remember, there is no can't in can. That is true. <laughs> I like the I am the I in team. I like that team isn't spelled with. Um, what is it in a foreign country, the way they say team? It's, there is an I in the way they spell it or something, yes, right? It's, right, T-E and the I is in like the center between the E and the A. Yeah, so no. I think it's French. No, 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 no. It, no, no, no. It's, the, uh, it's the, uh, the inside of the A. There's a, the inside of the A. Yeah, because the hole in the A is the dot in the top of the I. Yeah, see? So I'm European. <laughs> Okay. I'm from Poland. <laughs> that we know. It explains it all. My beauty, my depth, my sincerity. Your, your I could go on for hours. <laughs> it's only my humility that keeps me from going on and telling you everything else about me. <laughs> Are you guys still going over the donuts? I know, the donuts are a big deal. I just we cannot explain yeah. how important. Sure. You don't want to confuse them is the thing. You have to try the different ones. And once yeah, again, it's either it's... the Tabora show or the Purve show. I don't, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're, you're welcome to sit in our guest seat if you like. <laughs> right over there, Mary Jean's headed back over. <laughs> you can use Earl's sleeve to wipe your face. Uh, you, you can so sit to... over here. Is one, one little quarter. What? Well, okay, right, I'll go here. No, she had one already. No, she's not going to eat the way I'm eating these donuts. I already had. Mary right. Jean's going full yeah. throttle on them. <laughs> we, we cut them in fours. It's I don't right. care it's, today. I'm going to just tell you. It's Roy's birthday. We're right. allowed to go exactly. for a Exactly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. This, I, I, this, I, stuff up. this yeah. only happens once a year okay, that we can eat donuts to this Why magnitude. are the donuts so far away? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why, why are the you haven't guessed yet? <laughs> why isn't there a coffee you table You would not here have one right donuts. now if it was right here. It'd be uh -huh. done. <laughs> we don't want anyone to know. We did it for you. This is just amazing. All right, I think I'm gonna Instagram the donut moment because I just really had a good time with that. Hold on, let's do this. And then I'll tie Roy and the donut place and make it a whole big thing. Okay. Pretend I'm an influencer. How's the family? Everybody good? Yeah. yeah. 
Brenda has a champion volleyball player daughter. <laughs> she, she where all, does she go to school? I mean, her foot's better. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, her foot's better. She's been playing. Okay. Well, they're they're shortened season, right? Yeah. Because of everything that's going on. Mm. Is something going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Do some you know, people. You know something's going on? I didn't know. Is it like Roy's birthday? That's the only thing I know that's going on. Yeah. Yeah, she has a teammate in town. Oh, fine. So they're going to go up to Diamond Head later today. Oh. But she's going to take my car, so I can't stay all that long. Ah. Sure. Wow, they're going to do Diamond Head when it's hot out? Yeah. Not early morning? Well, she couldn't do it early morning because I was taking the car. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Brenda. They should um, they should go do Coco Head out by our house. They want to do a good hike or Makapu. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, a lot of easy but well, good and fun. Well, well, not that easy. Didn't they have to medevac somebody out of there? You know what? That's uh, like once a week. I think that's <laughs> that's like, that's <laughs> like, that's <laughs> like, that was Coco Head. They should yeah, do Makapu. Yeah. Well, or well, they, they could do the Bay Ridge. Yeah. Bay Bay Ridge too. Says she thinks Coco Head is too easy. It is easy. And then I was just like. For an hour. Not in high heels, it isn't. Jeez. I, it's not easy, even when you're in condition. It's still a workout. But they could do, like, Makapu's just pretty. But Coco Head's awesome. It's yeah, the well, down, coming well, down. Yeah, she thought Makapu's look too easy because it's just all paved. But I was like, is Diamond Head really all that different? Well, Diamond Head. Well, oh, has, compared to Makapu. <laughs> Diamond Head is good because it's a lot of switchback, but it is rugged terrain. Yeah. Coco Head, they've just been working on the stairs. Like, it's actually really nice now. Okay, well, it's Coco still Bed, hard and I've steep. Never, I've never been there, yeah. so I can't. Makapu has the same vertical as Diamond Head, but you do it in twice the distance, so it's half the grade. Right. Okay. It's a mile and a well, half to I, get to Box is one mile round trip. So you didn't just, know there was going to be some math involved. Yeah, in yeah. yeah. I you did. think I now. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've been up, been up either of them. I don't, uh, I've don't not, I've not, I've not well. even gone up Diamond Head at all. Yeah. Ever. I've planned it, I think, more than anybody, but I just never did. Yeah. <laughs> I it's a, it. It, it's not, well, it gets really crowded sometimes. Yeah, that's a so hot spot for to really go No, I just there. find myself doing other yeah. things. Crowds aren't there. Well, and it's, it's kind of worse now because they've actually shut off the tunnel. Oh really? Oh yeah. really? You can't go. Not not the first tunnel. The first tunnel you go through is is there. It's it's the second one going up the ninety nine steps to go through the fire control station, then up the spiral staircase and out the bunker. Uh -huh. That is closed oh, off because of social distancing. You have to take the oh. new stairs they built and walk around to get up. Okay, because I think they were looking forward to the. The 99 steps? Yeah. yeah, no. Oh, you can't get do the steps they like, anymore. They like Not their, at the moment, no. Right. They like their workouts, so. though. Those, those all young people, I don't know what's wrong with them. The young people? <laughs> they don't have all the parts to make a good decision yet. They just, they think they do. That's the part. They just think they do. And you go, why didn't anybody stop well, me when I said this? I'll have to let her know that here, you guys can't. I've never been on that new area where they yeah, yeah they made steps. It. Actually, that's kind well, of nice. Uh, and I now, know. and now, when you go up though, if it was all open, you go out through the bunker. That's now a one way. You can't come back, crawl oh, back through the bunker, back and go down the ninety nine steps. Yeah, you have to go out and then go around the stairs. So it's like a one way trip. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like, it's like life yeah. itself. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't been in a while, so that's... I think when I went there, they did have the new stairs, but you didn't have to use them. So we all just went now, up the now bunker it's... because that's the, that's the experience, right? You got to experience going yep. up the steps and around those stairwells. Now you have to. So now I'm not even going to go. No need. <laughs> I waited it out, and now I don't have to go at all. Hey, but thanks a lot for taking care of all that stuff with with uh, with our with our company with all that stuff that I have no idea what to do and no interest, but I know it's important. And so, thanks for doing all of that. That was that was awesome. Yeah, no, that was awesome.
Brenda yeah. doesn't answer the phone because she's so busy mm. doing your business. Mm. I love it. I <laughs> love it. She gets back to me and Mary Dean at like midnight. I love it. <laughs> I'm like, don't she's change your job. evil ways. That's fine. <laughs> She is busy. She's busy taking well, care of all of us. Well, yeah, that, that's the kind of thing that, um, you know, uh, usually just slides under the radar, but not mine. So this is, um, for, for you that don't know, our 13th session. Is it our 13th session? Okay. 13 session and, times, uh, a lot of hours. Well, yeah, and I don't know if I explained it while I'm over here. Okay. So what we're doing is um, I'm trying to get the feel of the painting to fit the fact that we, we have a, a really bright full moon. So the whole thing needs to be brighter, uh, relatively speaking, right? It's not going to be as bright as, as the day, um, but bright enough uh, in terms of um, how moonlit nights are, are kind of bright. You know? they, they, they say you can, you can, uh, you can read a book off of moonlight and um, I say yeah if the print is big enough you can you can read you can read even if it's no moon um, how how far along are you on this 30 by 40 a percentage yeah um, I would say 90 about 90 percent yeah yeah almost right. done. I'm gonna put some birds in it um, but I didn't want to put the birds in there and then work around it trying to make the thing brighter. So, this so I'm going to alley oop the, the thing first, right? So get the, the landscape where it needs to be uh, the brightest that it, it can be, and then I'll, I'll put the birds in. Still not, still not really giving any serious thought to those pterodactyls at that one. Oh, I have given a serious thought. Yes, yes you have. <laughs> Let's be clear about that part. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, I've given it serious thought, but not given it serious consideration. This piece is going to head to the new gallery called Bill Mack Gallery. That was at, the, it first. at the no, no, you can't do you that. They're waiting on this guy. They're waiting for it at the um, Caesar's Palace. Forum. At the Forum Shops at the Caesar's Palace. Correct. I would like to personally take it over there. <laughs> See, Since this I is the kind Vegas. of devotion we have I in our crew. I love Las Vegas and this art so much that I'm willing to take it by courier on my own plane. To the it has nothing island. to do with the fact that your daughter's over there. No, nothing I mean, else. maybe I'll see her. Oh, yeah, but... right. <laughs> if, she'll, if she'll have time for if you. If she has time for me, but there's always time What's for What's the name of the gallery? Bill Mack. Bill, Bill Mack, Mack Gallery at the Brand Caesars new. Palace, the Forum Shops. The Forum Shops in the Caesars Palace. Right. Which is really, the, it's a nice hotel, Caesars. Well, it's... No, no. Are you serious? It's, no, it is. It's a nice one. Well, it's iconic. It's one of the yeah, first properties. Yeah, it's just, it's very, it's just, yeah. Caesars Hotel and Casino. Yeah. The Forum Shops is the shopping You know, right? How often do you go, Vegas? Never. Never been there. You kidding? Are you kidding? Never been there. Oh, you got to think, you think, you yeah. think this guy. It's so oh, fun. Oh, it's on our bucket list. It's on our bucket list. Oh, yes. my God. It's so fun. Oh, shoot. The minute you land at the airport, it's fun. There's there's casino in the airport. I So I've heard. In the urinal. Slot machines. In the urinal. In the urinal. <laughs> yeah, you, you just, yeah. I don't think that's true. Have you been to the men's room? I could have been. <laughs> that may have been me. <laughs> Yeah. Who are you talking to? He's over here. He's working his magic. This guy. You can sell number one. I'll approve it. Sure.